I'm Alessandra Barrett, Senior Content Editor for JOC, and I'm at our 2019 Break Bulk and Project Cargo Conference in New Orleans with Bobby Landry, Vice President and Chief Commercial Officer for Port of New Orleans. Great to have you here. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. How does it feel to have a Break Bulk Conference back in New Orleans? Terrific. You know, the Break Bulk Conference actually originated in New Orleans uh, several decades ago, and it kind of morphed into something very big, and it started moving around and then it didn't come back to New Orleans. And we think today's show is really something that shows that it should have never left and it's gonna be very successful here. So we're thrilled that the show is back in New Orleans. As are we. The port has taken over the Short Line Railroad and the New Orleans Public Belt. What does that mean for shippers? The Public Belt Railroad is a connecting railroad for a lot of the companies that use port facilities. And these tenants of ours rely very heavily on the New Orleans Public Belt Railroad to connect them to the six class ones. Having the ability to provide that service to them and to potential customers, uh, especially intermodal shippers, provides a more seamless transportation option for our shippers. Uh, as we move into the future, we believe that rail is going to become increasingly more important. It's already important, but it's going to become more important as uh, nation's highways continue to have a lot of issues with uh, congestion and truck driver shortages and things like that. Uh, moving cargo by rail is going to be uh, more expedient and I think a, a, another option for shippers. Having access to all six class ones, which is somewhat managed by the port now because of its acquisition of the Public Belt Railroad, is going to be very positive. What's your market outlook for the year ahead? Where do you see the growth opportunities? Well, that's always a tricky question in these times of uh, tariffs and trade issues, but uh, generally we're pretty optimistic. Uh, last year for our break bulk cargo in particular was not a particularly good year. We uh, saw decreases in some of our major commodities, uh, especially steel, but uh, we're seeing a little bit of a rebound through the first quarter of this year, and I think as optimism grows about the uh, elimination of some of these tariffs and some of these trade barriers, we could really see 2019 being a very good year for cargo. Uh, again, we have to keep our fingers crossed because a lot of these issues are not within our control, but we do believe that the demand is here. Uh, some of it is latent demand that's waiting to be fulfilled. We just need to get some of these trade issues resolved and uh, get things back on track. What is the port doing to enhance break bulk capabilities? That's another good question. You know, so many people look at our facilities now and say, well, you're putting a lot of money into container facilities and we're actually contemplating, not contemplating, but we are in fact going to be building a new container facility uh, in the next couple of years downriver. They tend to believe that we've forgotten about break bulk. Break bulk cargo is the heart and soul of New Orleans. It is in fact the cargo that uh, we have relied on and we still rely on to a great deal to power the Port of New Orleans. And we have put more than $50 million in the last couple of years into break bulk facilities, in particular not only to improve the rail infrastructure on our facilities, but also to improve the load bearing capability of a lot of our structures. A lot of our structures were built decades ago and were in need of some uh, modifications and repairs. And so we're spending a lot of money to make sure that those people who utilize our facilities for break bulk cargo are in fact going to have good facilities that can handle the biggest and heaviest cargo they could possibly move. Exciting. Thanks for sitting down with me today. Uh, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here.